Today I want to talk with you about a very special subject called success. Now success has many different definitions, but the greatest definition I can give you today is this. Success is all about self-expression. It's about being who you want to be, doing what you want to do, going where you want to go. Success is about becoming who you really are. Oftentimes, however, I find that a lot of people don't become the kind of person that they want to be, and for many reasons. The main reason, I believe, is because they allow their reality to become bigger than their dreams. In other words, they allow their bills and their circumstances and the expectations of other people hold them back and prohibit them from success. What I learned is that if you allow your reality to become bigger than your dreams, your dreams can never become greater than your reality. And in order to change your reality, you have to change your mentality. You have to change the way you think about yourself, about others, and the world in which you live. By the age of 25, most people decide to either go all the way and live their dreams, or they completely give up. Actually, Benjamin Franklin summed it up perfectly when he said that most people die at 25, but aren't buried until 75. Actually, this was almost me. I remember in my early 20s, I was so confused about where I wanted to go in life. I was living in my mother's basement, driving a Volkswagen Beetle, so confused because I had so low self-esteem and almost no confidence. There was a time in my life where I remember smoking two packs of cigarettes every single day. And by the time I was 21, I had 40 different jobs. I knew I needed to change, but the only problem was that I didn't know exactly what to do. It wasn't until I started reading books and searching for mentors where I found out exactly what my purpose was. And my friends, what I learned is that your purpose is greater than you. Eventually, I started a business which allowed me to go around the world, influence millions of people, and become financially independent before the age of 30. Today, I want to share with you my four secrets of success that I've personally used in my life that helped me to become the man I am today. And I promise you that if you fully understand them and apply them in your life, you too will be able to do anything and everything you want in this world. You guys ready? The first one is about time. Because the minutes, the hours, the days, the weeks, the months, and the years, they all matter. You see, time is precious, yet so many people sell their time for such a small price. They don't realize the value of time. But you see, time flies. You can never be 21 years old again. You can never be 35. You only have one year until you turn 36. And so we have to realize how precious time really is. Because at the end of our life, the world will ask us this question. What did you produce in the time you were given? What did you create? What did you develop? What did you invent? And unfortunately, most people won't be able to answer this question because they're too busy comparing instead of preparing. They're too busy conforming instead of performing. They're too busy trying to be what other people wanted them to be instead of following their dreams and their aspirations. But my friends, I know you're better than this. I know you were called to do something special and that your purpose is greater than you. What I learned is that time is so important that we have to begin to ask ourselves tough questions. One of my favorite questions I've been asking myself for many years now is this one. How can I add more value to more people in less time? In other words, how can I increase the quality and quantity of work that I deliver so I can benefit the largest number of people in the shortest amount of time? If you look at the most successful people in the world, you'll find out that they answer this question. I mean, look at Mark Zuckerberg. He's influenced billions of people through Facebook, and he's become a multi-billionaire because of it. Look at Bill Gates and Oprah and Michael Jordan. All these people have added more value to more people in less time. For the next 30 days, write down this question and ask yourself, how can I add more value to more people in less time? Once you begin to understand this question, you'll be able to value time and use it in a different dimension. 
My second secret of success is about information, because the way we consume, use, and share our information will determine where we go in life. In this information age, people are bombarded with so much knowledge that they don't know what to do with the information that they have. The average person has about a thousand clicks a day. What are you clicking on, and where is it taking you? Is it helping you or hurting you? Is it leading you or misleading you? And when you share with other people, does it benefit them? Does it allow them to become the greatest version of themselves? You see, so many people spend time on their phones. The average person spends four hours every day on their phones, but they're meandering around average information. You see, you become what you study, and if you study miscellaneous things, you get miscellaneous results. But if you study truth, prosperity, and success, you will get those kind of results too. What are you studying, and where exactly is it taking you? I know there's so many people that are smart; they're brilliant, but they don't know how to use information. They believe that knowledge is power, and it's true. But I believe that applying your knowledge is even more powerful. In fact, I have a friend. He's extremely brilliant. His IQ is over 150. He's very smart. He's traveled the world. He's read thousands of books. He knows calculus and history. He has multiple PhDs, and he's certified in many areas. But he always admits to me that he doesn't feel successful, that he doesn't feel like he's living his purpose. That he's not becoming exactly who he is, and my friends, I'm going to share with you exactly what I told them, and it is this: you need order, because order is the first law of prosperity and success. And what that means is that you need a step-by-step -step process that you could abide by, so that you can get to where you want to be. That's why I recommend reading books and searching for mentors like me, and going to conferences so you can better understand exactly who you are. And what you want to do with your information. You see, once you highly organize and intelligently direct your specialized knowledge, you become unstoppable, and that's when knowledge becomes power. So, what is the best use of your information right now? The third secret of success is about money. Now, when it comes to money, some people get funny, and I know some people might disagree with me. But I believe you need money to fulfill your purpose, to live your dreams, and also to be happy. Now I can hear someone back there saying, "Well, money isn't everything, or money doesn't make you happy." But I remember the last time I got paid, I had a big smile on my face <laughs> because I knew that money was going to help me live my dreams. And plus, look, if you don't like money that much, then you might as well deposit it in my bank account. But seriously, my friends. We have to understand the vital role that money plays in our life. You see, money comes with a large responsibility, and the more of it you have, the more of it you have to contain and control. But you can't go around discounting money and not believing that it's important. You can't call people rich people evil and greedy and selfish, or you can't say that things are too expensive or that you can't afford it if you really want those things. What you have to realize is that. Money is widely available for you, and it's being printed for you right now, every single day. You have to understand your money, and if you know your money, you can grow your money. You see, money is so important, and that we have to realize that everything is abundantly provided for us. Everything we want is already out there. The cars we want to drive is at the dealership. We just have to go and test drive it. The food we want to eat is already at the restaurant. We just have to make a reservation and go. The clothes we want to wear is already at the store. We just have to go and try it on. And the home we always dreamed of is vacant, and all we have to do is take it. You see, what I learned is that when the mind is ready, the money will come. Once you realize exactly what you want, you'll be able to get it. I realized that there's more fun in aspiring and desiring than there is in acquiring. And it's not about being materialistic. It's about wanting what you want. And going after it. I remember several years ago, I found myself in a bookstore, and I saw a highly appealing book that I picked up. I started to browse through it, and I knew that this was the book I had to buy. The only problem was that I had ten dollars in my pocket, my whole entire life savings. Now I knew I had to make an investment in myself if I wanted to change from this position, 
And so I had a deep dilemma. I knew I was hungry, and I wanted to buy myself some lunch, and I figured, why not splurge, because I knew I was going to get paid the next day. But I decided that this was the best thing for me to do. Maybe I should go after the lunch, or maybe I should buy the book. Ultimately, the question was simple. Am I hungry for food, or am I hungry for truth? I made the decision and invested in myself for the first time in my life, and I took that book home, read it entirely, and it changed my life. You see, what I learned is that if you take care of $10, you're going to get $100. If you take care of $100, the world will bless you with $1,000. Take care of $1,000, you get $10,000, then $100,000, and a million if that's what you want. You see, when the mind is ready, the money will come. But you have to know your money if you want to grow your money. And you have to realize the vital role that money plays in your life. Now, the fourth secret of success is about energy. And when it comes to energy, most people don't know where their energy goes. I mean, how many times have you heard people say, I'm tired, all times of the day? It's because they don't know how their body functions. The difference between average people and successful people is that average people conserve their energy, while successful people expand it. Let me paint you a picture. An average person rolls out of bed, stumbles to the coffee maker, gulps down their coffee, jumps into their car, fights through traffic as they bang their head on the steering wheel because they know they're going to a job that they absolutely hate. They're focused on their fears, their uncertainties, and their doubts, and they end up worrying their whole entire life. But what I learned is that worrying is the greatest waste of imagination, and I know you're better than that. But if you look at a successful person, you'll see something much different. You'll see someone who's not trying to get through the day, but someone that's trying to get from the day. Someone who's not limiting their challenges, but challenging their limits. Someone who believes in themselves and their goals, because they know that if you believe in yourself, that everyone else in the world will believe in you. You'll find someone that's not focused on their excuses, but focused on their execution, focused on what they can do, not what they can't do, because they're winners, and they take care of themselves, and they expand their energy by sleeping right, eating right, exercising, and living right. You see, if you want to be successful, you have to understand how your energy works. What is your gift? What is your skill? What is your ability? And what can you do that no one else can do that can serve this world? I remember several years ago, I had to make a life-changing decision. I felt like I was stuck in college. I was going through my master's program, and I absolutely hated it, but I believed that I needed a master's degree in order to start a successful business. It was a tough dilemma, because my parents really wanted me to stay in school but I knew I didn't. I knew the right decision was to drop out and start my business, and that's exactly what I did. I moved out of my family's house, and I moved in with my new wife as we started our new life. And I can tell you that since I took that risk, everything has changed. I've been able to do things I never thought I could do, like travel the world, influence millions of people, and become financially independent before the age of 30. My friends, what is it that you were called to do? What steps must you take? What action must you go forward? How can you do what you were called to do? And how can you continue to believe? You see, if you accept yourself, everyone else in the world will accept you. But you have to understand these four secrets of success. And the best way to remember it is that it all begins with time. T-I-M-E. Time, information, money, and energy. Once you understand these four secrets of success, you'll be able to do anything and everything you want in this world. Thank you.